Today's menu is not breakfast chit chat, it's um, afternoon snack chit chat. <laughs> simple cheese toast gonna dip it in my um, bolognese spaghetti sauce and introduced me this fruit fig. I never grew up eating fig in Korea but yeah now it's very easily found and I like it. So if this scar bothers you I actually got this scar from doing a climbing. I'm taking a climbing lesson twice a week and one time I tried to really reach out for this bolt that I that's really really high up and I stretched for it and then I hit the bolt below it, so it goes <sighs> You know this looks like wine, but it's not This is just the uh, shikcho The Korean vinegar and just mixed with cold ice Looks like this So hi everyone, welcome back We're, It's been a while since I last did a breakfast chit chat video How is everybody doing? How is life going on for you guys? It's been a while since I last dressed up or did my hair properly I don't know if this is proper Like I just let this hair So for those of you who are new This is not my natural hair I had this hair perm like 2 months ago I wanted to go with a really like frizzy like small curls and something I haven't done before I thought it would be super fun so I tried it on and it gives me such a summerly vibe I love it I don't know it's right now it's okay because I haven't it's not been so long it's only been two months so the curls have been like you know still staying very fresh and bubbly but I don't really like do extra care with this. I'm so I know I'm supposed to use the you know special care shampoo and all, but I'm just too lazy. Some days it looks nice and a little bit more tamed. Some days it's just like all over the place. Yeah, just to give you guys a little bit more update in the Corona in Korea situation. My numbers in Korea have been pretty much stable for a while. Then it started to pick up again over the weekend. Our government increased the level of social distancing. Right now in Gyeonggi-do, which is kind of a province outside Seoul, you will be fined if you don't wear your mask, both indoor and outdoor. So the level has increasingly gone up um, in order to prevent another big outbreak. So yeah, me and Daniel, we have been trying to do more stay at home did not even go to cafes now because actually this last incident that sparked it happened in a church so they were doing a lot of like social gatherings and 
there was a huge outbreak at Starbucks in Paju, which is a city of, towards the north of Korea. Starbucks is a very popular cafe in Korea too, so there were a lot of people going in and about. And apparently there were like people who only stayed in that cafe only for 10 minutes during that time, where it even turned positive. So this thing is really contagious. This one was a two-story building and people on the second floor were largely affected and they're saying it's also because it's not only because it's an indoor space but also you know because now it's the summer so this virus gets carried away with the ac the wind coming from the ac people who are not even sitting that close to each other were also affected that leads to a bigger contagious effect but the interesting thing was the actual staff at the starbucks turned out to be negative so i'm wondering whether it's because you know they have the masks on all the time because you know usually when you are just uh, drinking or eating you don't you know you have to take the masks off and i'm guessing that a lot of people in the cafe had the mask removed for the drink yeah and then right now even like the weddings if you hold an indoor wedding your guests has to be kept at 50 otherwise you will be fine we were actually supposed to have a wedding in october this year but we postponed it till next year may like the people who are supposed to have wedding i don't know this month or next month it's like a huge headache because you can't really invite people if your numbers are kept at 50 and this is including all the staff that are helping you with the wedding and organization and so me and daniel we don't really plan to go out anywhere for the next two weeks so maybe a lot of more sewing and you know just craft work i will be doing at home speaking of which I wanted to update you guys on this latest um, DIY leather bag that I'm making. This will be the front of the bag. And right now it's, it's all in one large piece. This part here, this part here is gonna be the bottom. If you fold it up and bring it up all the way around, this will be the, the lid of the bag. This is like the shape that I'm looking for. Right now it's empty here because I need my side here, I need to attach that. And then I also got my handle, so like this, so cute. I haven't done this type of design of handles before. You can see, it looks like this. It's gonna go like that on top of the bag. I had a lot of fun making this handle. But ultimately the handle will go up somewhere at the top, like this. Gonna be a beautiful bag. A blue leather color, it's really nice, but I decided to go with a kind of like orangish brown um, shade of stitch. So it kind of shows a contrast, but it's nice, right? Because it kind of also goes with the color of this Changshik accessory here. It's kind of gold, yellow, so it matches with the color of the stitch. And actually, can you guys tell which design of the bag that I'm referencing on this bag? If you do, let me know in the comment below. All this sewing work on my leather bag is all done by hand. So it takes a lot of time, especially when it comes to the straps, oh my gosh, can you guys see how long this strap is? I can't do this in one go. I take several days to finish this. And what it is, is you have to go all the way around to do the stitching. And then you also need to put edge on the side. Yeah, I put the blue color of edge on the side. This is the part that I don't look forward to the most. But now I'm learning to use a sewing machine for clothes. So it's different. Like you can't really use the same sewing machine for clothes for this leather bag because first of all, it's different string. The string for the leather bag is much thicker and it has to be much more resistant and strong. Also, the needles are much thicker. So the sewing machine has to have much more power and the strength. So I won't be able to use the same sewing machine for fabric, for the leather work. But nevertheless, I think it's a good technique to know and it will be very handy. I have never really used a sewing machine before, so it was really fun to learn. Yeah, and I'm still, I'm still very newbie doing things with fabric, but it's been really, really fun. 
and I'm taking classes for it. My recent work was I made this cute pouch. It's got the zip like here. It's really simple but really useful inside like this. And the, the, the fabric is kind of this Oxford fabric. It's a little bit thick. Um, maybe I can show you guys how I made this simple zipper pouch. But I'm still waiting for my sewing machine. So I asked you guys on Instagram a few weeks ago which sewing machine you guys recommend. A lot of you guys mentioned Brother, Genome, and a few others. And I looked into them. So Genome and Zuki, they all seemed great. But there were definitely a few brands that were much more widely available in Korea. Especially the Brother is very, very widely available in Korea. And then their AS Center is everywhere but they're also doing like a group sale at the sewing place that I go and they're gonna give out those at a discounted price so I put my name down there I thought it would be good because it's the same machine that I'm using to take my sewing class so it'll be very easy for me to like you know understand the machine and it seemed like a pretty good brand it's Bernie Burnett it's a brand called Burnett. It's a Switzerland brand and price level was decent and they were giving a lot of other like free items on top of it. So I decided to go with that. It's gonna take some time for them to supply so I'm still waiting. Um, hopefully by next month I can get my sewing machine, start doing more sewing. And the one that I'm making right now in my sewing class is a tote bag made with fabric. I just started working on it so I'm gonna let you guys know how it comes out when it's done. Yeah, a few weeks ago I also invited my girlfriend Ayoung um, to come and visit my house. I've been friends with her for a long time. We met actually at the training at the banks. If you guys haven't seen or if you guys, whoosh, if you guys are curious about my transition from banking to software engineering you can check it out on this video over here and of course we had to treat her with some good future neighbor food and yes but daniel i asked daniel to make um malashi because um my friend she really likes spicy food let's see how much she enjoyed our future neighbor made malashi so hello everyone <laughs> <laughs> Today we have my friend as guest. We made this for her. Okay, 언니. 솔직한 리뷰를 부탁드릴게요. 좋습니까? 매워? 괜찮아? 밖에 파는 거랑 거의 똑같은데? 아, 진짜? 약간 맵기가 조금 덜 매운 거 같긴 한데. 더 매워야 더 좋아졌어야 됐어. 진짜. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Ayeong 언니랑 저랑 같이 은행에서 우리 언제부터? 우리 그 2011년 그때 트레이닝 할 때부터 같이 알게 된 사이입니다. 같이 팀이었어요. 맞아. 팀. 맞아. Every time I had a bad day, I would message her through the internal message and then rant at her. 언니한테 내가 별 얘기 다 했잖아. 아, 드림이 떠나서 이제 <웃음> 오피스 와이프가 없어가지고 싶습니다. <웃음> 내가 미국 갈때그 데프 캠프에 그돈 보낼 때도 언니한테 가서 거기 돈 보냈는데. 아, 해외 송금 언니 기억 안 나? 언니 그 <웃음> 지금 약간은 약간 약간 한대 맞았어 우리. 어, 우리 스파이 송도를 내가 조금 확하게 <웃음> 줄라 그랬는데 이제 그냥 제대로 주자가. <웃음> This is a round two. <웃음> 맞아 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 맞아. 더 매워? 더 매고 더 감칠맛 나고. 아 진짜. <웃음> 근데 데니얼은 벌써 땀 나는데 어, 여기? 나 요리만 하고 있잖아 <웃음> 이거 봐 이거 땀봐 이거 어떡할 거야 오 마이 갓 We finished this whole entire pan 언니 어땠어? 너무 맛있어서 말을 잊었어요 <웃음> <웃음> 먹느라고 사실 죽지 말라고 <웃음> 말안 하고 계속 먹기만 했는데 <웃음> 맞아 so my friend Ayeong she's an expert on K-pop and how I got to know about BTS like I don't know 5-6 years ago was through her she told me about BTS when they were like 
I had no idea about them and she's like, you have to watch them. And I'm like, what? BTS? Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> and then look at them now. 언니, 요즘은 follow하는 사람. 요즘 능력해보... Who's the next BTS? 요새 ATZ? 로드 투 티킹덤? 그게 뭐지? 서바이벌 프로그램이 있었는데 그것 한번 보세요 <웃음> 넷플릭스에 있어? 넷플릭스에는 아쉽게도 없는데 엠넷 유튜브에서 검색하시면 많이 나옵니다 아 <웃음> 어, 그렇군 펜타곤, 온앤오프, 원어스, 베리베리, 더보이즈, 피오 이렇게 나왔는데 다그 무대가 진짜 장난 아니고 거의 연말 시상식 수준으로 나왔기 때문에 한번 볼만합니다 <웃음> 내가 말했지 아영 언니 완전 엑스퍼트라고. <웃음> As you guys know, I always like talk about some new dramas or films, but sadly there hasn't been any new dramas that I've watched. Um, I know that it's not it's okay to be not okay. It just finished, but I didn't really get into that drama. But the same friend Aeyong recommended me this British drama on Netflix called Bodyguard and I just finished watching it. This thing is so fun. It was a lot of suspense, mystery, action, but there was also a little bit of the romance part, which I always like. If you guys haven't watched it, I recommend you guys too. I had something with Bodyguard. I also watched this classic old film Bodyguard starring Whitney Houston. I know the song very well, like a lot of us do, but I never like watched that film properly. So it was really pleasant surprise. I love watching like those classic films. So. And uh, a book update. Hold on, let me get this. So I started reading this book called Bosun. Uh, this is a novel. And I really like the title of this book called Bosun. It means hypocritical, I think, Bosun. Yeah, hypocrisy. <laughs> this book is about this lady in her 20s and her relationship with her mom, her brother, and thoughts about marriage. These days, I'm really into learning more about how other people experience their relationship with their mom. I think relationship with parents, especially for me, my mother, is so complicated. Like I've only had one mother, so my experience with my mom is just one perspective. But I'm really more into learning about like other people's perspective on their relationships with their parents or their mother. You know, these are the things that we don't really talk about about in life maybe maybe with your very good friends i wish i could get more pers perspective on these kind of family issues or family struggles i'm trying to get more insights through books now so this certain parts in this book that reminds me of my parents or my mom and the energy in our family and so it's been a really interesting read and some of you has been asking me to put a tutorial on like some of these leather stuff that I'm making so it's actually quite a lot of steps to make a bag it's not simple and it's definitely not beginner friendly so I've been really thinking hard about what would be a good way to start it so I'm coming up with a very simple leather purse for those of you who've been asking me to make a DIY tutorial on it, it's on the way. I just need a little bit more time because I'm also working. So, and I will let you guys know once it's up. And if you guys want to get a more like 
day-to-day -day updates on my leather bag making stuff or stitching or DIY, you can also follow me on Instagram here at Katie Oki. This is gonna be it for my uh, afternoon snack chit chat video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'm gonna be back again um, very soon with another chit chat.